I'm going to show you how to build a fox hunt transmitter fox box. If the video seems a little bit choppy, like I've done a bunch of editing, it's a busy street out in front of where I'm taping, so I'll have to stop quite a bit. So what we're going to need for this project, drill and drill index, an ammo can, this one costs $5 at uh, Harbor Freight, plastic. Going to need a transmitter. This one's a UV5R. It's uh, got an SMA male connector in the top. 3.5 millimeter stereo plugs with uh, three connectors for each. The two little black lines are insulators. Need an antenna. I bought this on Amazon for six dollars. It's very flexible. It's very short. I'm hoping it's got a pretty poor signal because a fox hunt transmitter you want a weak signal. But I wanted one that had the potential to take the two watts output of the Baofeng and knock that down with a crummy antenna which is actually the first time I've ever wanted to buy a crummy antenna. And we need a cable to go through the top of the ammo can and attach to the radio. So this is an SMA to a bulkhead BNC connector. So let's get this show on the road. So we pick us a drill bit here. Put the nut up in that corner. And I think I'm going to use a smaller bit to drill a little pilot hole. Washer that came with it. And it looks like that hole's just right. And I'll tighten that down with a wrench. Get going here. So now the radio needs to tie onto the uh, be screwed onto the end of the cable and then we're going to try and determine where that radio best fits we don't want the cable being stretched too much and that way looks like the best way so the radio in here like this I'm going to use a piece of cardboard behind it to hold it piece of foam in the bottom to set the radio up some and then the audio device will go on the opposite side of it so I'll be back in a moment okay so I've got the uh, ammo can here I've got this piece of foam and a drywall T-square and I've just kind of eyeballed because of the thickness of the walls on the ammo can I've kind of eyeballed it lined it up it doesn't have to be perfect but we don't want a really sloppy fit either. So I'm going to slide this over here, get it lined up so we've got a nice straight edge to cut with. Took several cuts because I'm gonna use this old uh, political sign. It's made out of plastic cardboard or core plast, and I'm gonna put a piece in the end to clip the radio onto.
and now you can see that the radio is in there fairly secure this is a test project so I'm not too worried about it being super secure but there's how it's mounted the recorder will mount here the cable will go from here to here and we'll be good to go and there we have it Fox box. Carry it in. It's very light because there's no huge battery and it's going to rely on the uh, radio transmitter's battery built in. Open it up. And that's what you have. And I may stuff some newspaper in here just to make sure it doesn't move around. We're in another foam. But here's the setup. Turn on the radio. You lift this up. Press play and you've selected the correct uh, audio file. So it's a real field expedient, inexpensive fox hunt transmitter. If it works, I'm going to test it. Can't hurt the antenna hardly. And I would recommend you test it with a handheld to make sure it's transmitting both on the right frequency and the right audio file. You should also mark the exterior of the box on at least three sides with the information that it's a fox hunt transmitter being operated by a federally licensed operator and I would put the frequency that's being monitored during the hunt as well as the phone number of someone who will be available during the hunt so that if anybody finds this while they're out playing around in the, wherever you have it they don't go oh my god and call the authorities and have everybody freaking out it would also be a good idea to give the local police department a heads up and probably even bring the device by after you've talked to them and show them what it looks like just to make sure there aren't any problems and uh, one other thing to note this is not remotely controlled so you have to fulfill the FCC station operator requirements this KG7TUO if you like this video please like it on YouTube and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and I'd appreciate it if you tell all your friends about my channel Thanks for watching.